life. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bakar, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And uh, peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect, pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. In the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. All right, this is the Baba Yakanan from the GMS England branch. Back here with another video, and um, you know, Lord willing, you know, this video will be edifying unto you brothers out there and few sisters listening and also learning. Okay, and um. You know, we're in the midst of the, um, you know, the Passover, all right? And Lord willing, you know, this um, this be the last Passover, you know, that we experience under the rulership, you know, of Esau Edom, all right? The so-called white man beginning, you know, with their elites on down, you know? And, you know, we say that every year, all right? Because that's the spirit that we are in, you know, we're in the spirit of hastening the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in order to, um, you know, destroy this kingdom that's headed by Esau Edom, you know, the elites of Esau Edom, all right? <clears throat> and that's the spirit we're supposed to be in, you know? Because, you know, each Passover brings us closer to you know the manifestation of the kingdom of heaven you know the kingdom of Yahweh Shai all right and um you know the scripture says you know woe unto those that have lost patience because many have lost patience all right and many individuals because they're not looking out for the signs of the Lord's coming and they're not measuring the time you know diligently as it tells us to do in uh, Second Ezra uh, chapter 9 from the top on down, because they're not doing these things, because they're not being watchmen, they lose patience. And they don't understand that the things that are transpiring upon the earth right now are sure indications of the um, return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Excuse me, Yahweh Shai, all right? They don't understand that because they're not watching, all right? They're not seeing how everything that's happening is making way for the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. But we see it, okay? And that's why we stay, you know, with hope. And that's why we stay, you know, filled with the faith of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, because we can understand and identify what's happening according to the Holy Scriptures, according to biblical prophecy, okay? And we understand that um our faith is being confirmed by particular events that's playing out upon the earth man we understand that all right we understand that our faith is being confirmed because we're watching okay we're measuring the time we're seeing how you know the infrastructure of the beast system is being laid out right before our eyes man all right many people can't see that okay many people can't see you know the tweaks the huge tweaks that the wicked elites of Esau Edom, the ones that rule this world in secrecy, are making, you know, to this world to make it um to make it run, you know, on this beast system, all right? That's gonna be marked, you know, with um a physical device, you know, the RFID chip, all right, which is gonna be embedded, you know, under your skin. It's gonna be put in you. Okay, they're making way for that system to flourish upon the earth. Now, if you're not watching, all right, then you're not going to see these things. If you don't have a spiritual eye, you are not going to see these things, man. And therefore, you know, your faith is going to dwindle and you're going to fate in that great and dreadful day. Okay, but again, you know, we see it. And the scriptures also say, you know, the people perish where there is no vision. 
All right? So you have to actually have vision, okay? You have to have a spiritual eye in order to actually see, you know, what's happening in these last days, man. All right? Now, you got, you know, truthers out there, all right, that are exposing certain things and, you know, telling you, you know, of certain things that are going down in the circle of the elite, so on and so forth, exposing, you know, um, satanic ritual, you know, um, 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 activity, you know, that's going on with these elite sacrifices, so on and so forth. You know, they'll tell you all that information, but what they don't tell you is the end result of all this madness that's actually happening, all right? And we're telling you the end result, all right? We understand what's happening, all right? And we understand the end result, and that's what's important. The end result is that all of this wickedness that's happening upon the earth is going to be done away with, okay? And who's going to do away with it? Yahweh Shai, okay? And then you're going to have the elect, all right? The 144,000, okay? You're going to have the many multitudes, you know, of Israel, okay? You're going to have our kingdom, you know, flourish upon the face of the earth and our ways are going to dominate the earth once again, okay? As it tells us, I believe it's in Habakkuk, all right? And there's also a part in, um, I believe it's Isaiah 11, where it basically says, you know, that the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, shall cover the earth as the sea. So you're not going to be able to escape our vibration, our laws, statutes, and commandments, our ways of being. Okay, that's going to be, you know, the new vibration upon the earth. And that's how it was always supposed to be. All right. No more is the earth going to be, um, you know, um, centered, you know, on wickedness. All right. That's going to be a thing of the past. As it tells us, you know, in uh, the book of Job, you know, the memory, you know, and the presence of Esau Edom, you know, is going to fade away, you know, as a dream and he shall be as his own dung. All right, roughly paraphrasing. So, you know, the time of the rulership of Esau Edom is coming to a close. All right, and that's evident, you know. Again, you know, when you measure the time and you survey what's happening upon the earth, you can see that this man's rulership is coming to an end. You can see that his influence and his dominance, all right, that he once had, that he once held upon the earth is coming to a close. And again, you know, we're in the midst of the Passover, and um, Lord willing, it's the last Passover under this devil, you know, Esau, Edom. Okay. But again, things intensify every year concerning what's happening. All right. The Lord is requiring, you know, more spirits. Look how much of the elites have, have, uh, have died, you know, this year alone and last year. All right. You're having key, you know, figures, you know, key governing bodies of the left hand side, you know, being uh, taken out. You know, their spirits are being required, which is also a sign, you know, of the downfall of Esau Edom. Okay, so the Lord is making is making major moves. All right, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is making major moves out here, man. All right, because no matter how much you know artificial artificial technology and transhumanism, you know, these um, devils want to try and tap into, as the scriptures say, you know, no man have uh, power over the spirit to retain the spirit. All right, so you can't keep your spirit in your body if your how about Shimmy Shai requires it. All right, and you're powered, you know, by your spirit. As I was saying, you know, no man have power over the um, spirit to retain the spirit. You know, that's that's the um, that's the force within you. You know, that powers you. So once that is uh, taken out, you know, once the Lord requires that, you ain't going nowhere. All right, <laughs> you're going straight, you know, to the to the heavenly realm. You're going straight to the spirit world, man. Okay, so no matter how much you know technology Esau wants to tap into to try and prolong, you know, his time, you know, as the scriptures say, um, you know, regarding you know the wicked elites, you know, their 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 intent is that they should rule forever. You know, roughly paraphrasing, but that's not going to happen. You know, their houses are not going to continue forever. Their houses. Um, are going to be um, uh, dismantled and thrown down through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, they're going to come to a close. You know, their rulership, you know, has a threshold, man. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, is um, bringing that threshold, you know, to a close. Okay, so we're living, you know, in a very beautiful time, man. We're living in a time of seeing the downfall, you know, of our enemies. Okay, we're living in a time of seeing the increase. 
spiritually first and then physically of the nation of Israel, you know, beginning with the elect underneath, you know, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? As it tells us in them second Ezra uh, chapter 6 and verse 9, you know, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right? So we're coming into the time of a transition of kingdoms. All right? And I believe it speaks about that in the book of, um, is it Sirach uh, 10 and 8? You know, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? It talks about a transition, you know, of kingdoms, you know, a transition of power. Okay? And that's, what, that's the time we're living in right now. And that's why you're seeing, you know, Esau's lies being exposed. And that's like, you're going to see how desperate this devil gets, man. You know, as pursuant to Revelation 12 and 12, you know, he shall come down, you know, with great wrath because he knoweth that he have, you know, but a short time. So expect to see more demonization of the prophets of Yahweh Shimei Shai. Expect to see, you know, um, you know, news come out trying to, um, you know, demonize and slander us, okay? Because we stand, you know, for this truth. We stand for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and we represent the right-hand side. Expect to see more demonization, okay? And don't marvel at it, all right? Because these things are all written down, okay? All of these things are written down in the Holy Scriptures, man. It's going to be get so bad out here that we're going to require spiritual power, all right? You got to think about that. It's going to get so bad all right, that we're going to require divine intervention from Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai to save us from the trouble that's going to be manifested upon the earth. Okay, divine intervention is going to be needed to save us. So, what does that tell you? That tells you that things are going to get really bad. That tells you that things are going to get really sinister. Okay, so you know, like I always say, you know, we got to spiritually and mentally prepare. For these things that are coming and you know what if you're of the elect you know the lord will be with you man all right you how about shimmy shai will be with you and you how about shimmy shai will help you get through these um turbulent times you know that are coming you know so i'm gonna cut it off there lord willing this uh lesson was edifying and until the next time i'll say shalom <laughs>